hollow. I'm so tired. So guys, guess what? It's Christmas and I have a peppermint mocha that I made myself. I think the, I was showing you the tea, but I realized it was on both sides as I was trying to show you the tea. <laughs> the tea! <laughs> you see what I did here is I got some coffee from the gas station because I was all out of coffee. And I put one part milk, one part water, another part coffee. That doesn't add up. Then I put some candy cane cocoa in it and a little bit of peppermint syrup and um, this cute little candy cane. It's so hot in here. <gasps> oh lordy. So it is Christmas day, December 25th and I have my cocoa, I have my holiday glam and I'm all set and ready to party. So today I thought that I would just do like a quick little video surrounding the eating disorder stigmas and kind of clarify some things. Um, I know that this isn't the type of video that I usually make on my channel, but since I've actually like come out about everything that I've been struggling with, I just wanted to be like helpful and share any advice that I can give and do my part in helping anybody that has had similar issues that I've had. I will have like vlogs and stuff still on my channel, don't get me wrong, I love doing that stuff, but I also want to do some like educational stuff and be more informative about this topic for a bit. So anyways, stigmas and eating disorders. Let's figure out the correctness. Number one, you have to be underweight to have anorexia, let alone any eating disorder. That's a stigma that is very popular. One, you don't have to be underweight to have an eating disorder. That's just incredibly incorrect because anorexia is a mindset. If you're underweight, that's a symptom of anorexia. What happens is you think a certain way and then you have actions that happen because of those thoughts and it's just, that's how it works. So the way that you think and the actions that you do based on those thoughts and how all of that ties together, then that would be diagnosed as anorexia, depending on certain things, obviously. You can be any weight and have an eating disorder. It's a mental illness, so it's not necessarily about how your body looks. I mean, you think it's about the way that your body looks, but the disorder isn't really based off of how it looks at all. It's about your mind. Another stigma is that the only eating disorders are anorexia, bulimia, and binge eating disorder, and that isn't true. There's actually a lot of different disorders. For instance, there's Ednos, which I think is called OSFED now. I think that's basically just when you have like different parts of different disorders and it's not really classified as one. And then there's diabulimia, where people use their insulin to benefit their eating disorder in some way. There's orthorexia, which is like anorexia, but you hyper focus on being super healthy and there's a lot of other components to each of those disorders obviously there's a lot of other ones as well but those are the only ones that i could think of off of the top of my head another stigma is that eating disorders are extremely superficial which on the outside that's what they appear to be but it's really not about the things that make it seem superficial yeah, it's about obsessively focusing on your body and food, but it's not really about those things. It's about control, trauma, all of these different underlying issues that you don't really think about because you're just focusing on your food and your body and everything to do with your eating disorder instead of actually focusing on the things that you're dealing with. So it's a coping mechanism. So it looks very superficial, but it's really not at all. In fact, most people with eating disorders focus so much on other people instead of themselves and are really caught up in trying to be a really good person and so it just appears to be a completely different issue than it really is to people that don't really understand. Number four is that only teenage girls have eating disorders. Anyone can have one. People in their 70s, 80s, children, men, women, any ethnicity, anyone. The realm is wide open. A lot of the time there's a genetic component, but you can have one regardless of that or not. Then the last stigma that I will be saying today is once you eat, you're fine. 
Yeah, that's not really how it works, friends. Not, not at all. Sorry to burst your bubble. If someone wasn't eating and now they are, that says nothing about what's actually going on. The disorder lies in your mind. What happens to your body and if you're eating or not is just a symptom of the disorder. It's not the actual disorder itself. So if somebody starts eating, that doesn't mean their disorder is gone. Like I am doing really well. I'm eating a lot more than I used to because I have to. And you know what? My mind is still very messed up. So just because I'm not underweight anymore, just because I eat now doesn't mean that I don't have an eating disorder. I still very much have one because it's in my mind. And I know I already said that, but I really just wanted to like make that very known because I think a lot of people are under the impression that everything's fine once you appear to be fine, which is obviously not the case in many different ways in many different situations. Oh, that's super disappointing. <laughs> I was just getting really fed up with people making assumptions that weren't true or just making assumptions in general. Like every time somebody found out that I had an eating disorder, they would automatically assume that I had anorexia, which I did. But the fact that they just assumed that is where this video comes in because you can look at any way and have different disorders. So making those assumptions based off of physical appearance is not okay. But at the same time, like there's no judgment towards that on my part because I know most people don't understand that and I'm not going to expect everyone to. I'm so happy to be back, by the way. Like I missed doing this so much. I really needed to be back in my life and like this is part of my life and it makes me feel a lot more connected to everything. So thanks for supporting me and watching my videos and just making my day better. Okay, well, anyways, that's all that I had to say. Um, let me know if this video was helpful to you at all. Have a great Christmas. I know I'm not posting this on Christmas, but all have a great Christmas, and I hope you had a great Christmas, and we can all just have merry lives together. Bye, brothers. <laughs>